Hello friends, in this video we will look at how the preposition calculus sentences are formed using the logical connective. So as we have seen in the previous video that a preposition is a statement that has a truth value and a preposition variable is a value that represents such a statement which has a truth value. So in the last uh, video we have taken the example of New Delhi's capital of India has a truth value of true. But a sentence like every college will have a computer by 2030 does not have a truth value because it is a forecast and we do not know whether it will be true or not. Now let us look at the logical connectives that are used in the preposition logic. There is a symbol of negation which is written as a um, tilted L or it can also be represented by a bar at the top or by a tilde sign. And it means what P is negated, that means whatever was P that has toggled into not of P. Then we have conjunction which represents AND operation. So P and Q means both P and Q must be true for the output to be true. In all other cases, the output will be false. Then we have disjunction or OR operation. Disjunction operation stands for or that means either Q, T or Q or both are true then it will give an answer of 1 otherwise it will be 0. Then we have implication which says P implies Q. If P is true then Q is also true. So this also has a truth table and then we have a if and only if which means if P implies Q and Q also implies P. So, uh, for this we have the double implication symbol. So, let us look at the various representations that we can have. We can look at some examples. Suppose we have sentences like this. This book is good and cheap. So, what we can do is we can represent the fact book is good by the preposition A and cheap book is cheap by the preposition B. So, we can write book is good by representing A and B. So, that will be the representation for this sentence. So, if we say that the book is not good but cheap, so we will say negation of A and B. Then if we say that the book is costly but good, so we have A and negation of B because B represents that the book is cheap but now we are saying that the book is costly, so it is a negation of B. Then we say book is neither good nor cheap. So negation of A and negation of B. And then we say book is either good or cheap. So this representation let us look at it. It is either the good is book is good or it is cheap. So we put the symbol of or in between. So we can see here we have represented book is good by A and book is cheap by B and we have solved all the examples. So I hope this video is useful to you. In the subsequent videos, we will look at the logical identities in preposition logic and then we will solve the simplification questions. Thank you very much.